Pastor, I just want to say, uh, testify what has happened. Um, on Thursday, um, I left. I booked a holiday uh, because on Friday it was my birthday, so I wanted um, a break. But um, what I have realized is that, you know, you cannot teach a human being how to respond well to life unless you teach them Jesus. Amen. Um, on Friday, I called in the morning. I called my boy, Tuso. He just went to the bathroom and said, wake up. You need to prepare yourself so that you can go to school. Then he prepared himself, and then he went to school. While he was at school, then he called me because I will never call him. He's at school, and they take the phones and all that. So I was like, what's happening? Because now he's got a condition, and you know the devil. Every time when I start doing something nice, he just want to poke his nose in my business. So I was like, not again this time, really. This is not fair. But anyway, he said, Mommy, um, things are rough here at school. I said, what's happening? He said, you know what? Um, it seems as if the school children are attacked with demons and the spirits, and everyone is screaming, then we are on the phone, everyone is screaming, the teachers are out of the classes, and things are just going, uh, uh, children are going up and down, running over the, the school grounds and everything. I said, you know what, the devil is a liar, he has got no power, he's already defeated. And as we continue to communicate with him, he says to me, now the school principal, called two ladies to come and cast the demons or pray. But what shocked me is that um, the school principal is not an African. So how does he call the African uh, Sangomas to come and cast the demons? You can't cast the demons with demons. It doesn't work like that. Now, why I'm saying um, you can't teach a person to respond well to life, even our children, even you know any other person, unless you teach them Christ. So that's when I'm just trying to cut the testimony short. Then that's when I said to Tuso, we go to school, to church every Sunday, and you are taught, you, you, ha you have faith. You, you are the child of the Most High. What are you going to do? He said, Mommy, I closed the class and um, I said to all the children, let us bow our heads and pray. Then he prayed and prayed for the teacher who was there in that class. And believe me, when I hear the story is that that class he was in, he's the only class that was not attacked by demons. All the whole school, even the teachers left, even the school principal was confused. Everyone was confused. And now when we live here, the principal called the meeting to say, we need to come, every parent, so that we can cast the demons. And I said, you know, the devil doesn't respect Sunday. You can't have connection with God only on Sunday. You need to be connected with God every day, every minute, every hour, so that you can speak the word of God. It's just a half of the testimony. And um, a day before they I had, there was a small coffin in the bathrooms. I don't know what is the coffin doing that. But just to say, to encourage the parents, continue to instill faith and prayer to your children and pray with your children every day in the morning. Because I fear not, he doesn't fear. Okay.